everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl chef rambo today i am going to be making some homemade blackened chicken alfredo from scratch homemade none of that store-bought stuff okay let's go ahead and get into it so i have some cleaned chicken breast that i cleaned with vinegar and lemon we're going to go ahead and use some cajun seasoning chicken seasoning oregano leaves italian seasoning and then in the back we've got some creole seasoning onion powder garlic powder black pepper and salt so we're going to go ahead and start it off with a little bit of salt we are then going to add our black pepper can't forget the cajun seasoning just a little bit though we're then going to add our chicken seasoning because we're cooking chicken we have some onion powder of course, we need that delicious garlic powder. We've got some dried oregano leaves, of course. Italian seasoning because it's a must. And then we're going to add just a little bit of that Creole seasoning, okay? Not too much, you guys. If you ain't sneezing, baby, it is not seasoned. That chicken is seasoned perfectly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my man hands and I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up together. Oh my gosh, y'all. This seasoning on this chicken, though. Look, that whole piece of chicken is covered with those delicious seasonings. Yum. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with some aluminum foil, you guys. And we're going to let our chicken breast marinate for two hours in the fridge. Get you a cast iron skillet and either some canola or peanut oil. I happen to be using canola oil. Get you some tongs, baby. Go ahead and turn that on medium-high heat and get them big old chicken breasts up in that cast iron skillet, baby. And if you put them in there and they're not sizzling like this, it's just not hot enough, okay? So you can probably fit about three at a time. You definitely don't wanna overcrowd your pan, guys. So I'm going to be using penne noodles um, with my Alfredo. You guys can use fettuccine. You can use angel hair. You do not have to use these kind, but I love them. We're going to go ahead and give them a stir. And I did go ahead and add just a pinch of oil and a little bit of salt so our noodles do not stick, you guys. They're about halfway done. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out in like two minutes. Oh my gosh, look at our noodles, nice and soft and beautiful, yes! Okay, so I don't know how you guys cook big chicken breasts. Some people like to cut them in half, but I just like to take a knife and poke holes through them because as you guys know, when you're cooking a big piece of meat, sometimes it doesn't get fully cooked all the way. And since we're using a cast iron skillet, we don't want the outside to get cooked and then the inside still be raw. So you guys can either, you know, use a knife, a fork, and just poke some holes throughout your chicken breast like I'm doing. After about 10 to 12 minutes, we are going to go ahead and flip our chicken breast over. Of course, some of the pieces are going to be a little bit dark than others, but that's completely okay. As you guys can see, that last piece isn't as dark as the others. No worry, we're gonna get this straight. We're gonna figure it out, okay? So I went ahead and let those cook for about another 12 minutes, and now I'm gonna flip them over again. And I kind of moved them around in the pan, but as you guys can see, they're starting to all become the same color. Y'all, my kitchen was smelling so freaking good. Look at the details on those chicken breasts seasoned blackened oh my gosh so after about 25 minutes you can go ahead and remove your chicken breast and i went ahead and added the last two because i only use five total chicken breasts for this recipe so we have one stick of room temperature salted butter you can also use unsalted butter we have our minced garlic you're only going to need about one to one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic you know we gotta have our chunky garlic stir and paste. If you guys are against using this type of garlic, you can definitely use fresh, okay? Go ahead and give that a stir. And don't worry about that Alfredo and that garlic and that butter looking kind of burnt. 
it's not burnt it just has a really nice brown color to it okay I'm going to add in just about a little less than half a stick of, um, not heavy whipping cream. I'm sorry. I'm adding heavy whipping cream, but cream cheese. I'm sorry, y'all. I done got tongue twisted. So a little less than half a block of um, cream cheese. And then we're going to add two full pints of heavy whipping cream, okay? We want this sauce to be delicious. And we want to make sure our noodles are not dry. I went ahead and cut up my chicken breast into little cubes. Now our sauce has come to a boil. I'm gonna go in here with some Creole seasoning, but like I said, not too much. I'm then gonna go in here with some onion powder. And then I'm gonna go in here with some garlic powder. You need a pretty decent amount of garlic powder because like I said, we're making Alfredo and we want this to be as garlicky as possible, if that's even a word. We've got our salt. A hefty amount, but not too much because we don't want this to be overly seasoned, even though our chicken is already seasoned. Anytime we're using salt, we have to have black pepper, and we do want this to be a little bit spicy. We've got our Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is like really optional for some people, but for me, it's mandatory anytime I'm making pasta. We've got our oregano leaves as well. Um, it is oregano in the Italian seasoning, but I just like to throw in a little bit of extra. Now go ahead and give that a good stir. As it's still bubbling, we're going to go ahead and add in um, some Parmesan cheese. Now I'm using two different types of Parmesan cheese. I'm using powdered and grated, and I'm also using provolone and mozzarella cheese as well. I'm probably gonna add in about two cups of the mozzarella and provolone cheese. Now we have our Parmesan shredded cheese. You guys are gonna wanna add the whole entire bag to this sauce. However, you wanna go ahead and turn your sauce on low when you add the cheese because you don't want it to mess up and get like really gritty. You want the cheese to kind of fold into the Alfredo sauce. And when you have the best texture, you can go ahead and add our sliced cube chicken breast back to the sauce. Some of the chicken breasts were not 100% completely cooked, which is why you want to make sure you want to make sure you want to make sure you finish cooking the chicken breast inside of the Alfredo sauce, okay? We're going to go ahead and give this a nice stir. We're going to fold everything together. And if you guys want, you guys can also make shrimp. Just season your shrimp, and then you would want to go ahead and add your shrimp during this step. Ooh, that looks so freaking good. You can also use the leftover um, cast iron skillet in the oil, and you could put, cook your shrimp that way as well. I added about 20 drops of hot sauce. I went ahead and strained my penne noodles, and now I'm just going to put that chicken and that Alfredo sauce, sauce I'm sorry, right on top, guys. It looks so pretty and before you stir it in you want to wait about three or four minutes so that sauce can kind of go to the bottom so when you do stir it everything is all throughout okay and like I said this step is completely optional I just have to have Italian seasoning and oregano like right on top when I have my pasta dishes it just makes it taste so much better so I just took a little bit of Italian seasoning and a little bit of that dried oregano and I put that right on top Now it is time to stir, oh my gosh. My biggest fear is having an Alfredo meal or having pasta and the Alfredo is dry. This Alfredo is not dry at all. As you guys can see, every noodle is covered with sauce. Every noodle has chicken on it. You can see those seasonings. You guys better stop playing with me. Oh my gosh, this Alfredo was so freaking bomb. But guess what? We're not done yet. We are not freaking done yet. We're going to take a whole nother bag of shredded Parmesan cheese and we're going to go ahead and put that right on top. So you guys will be needing two bags of shredded Parmesan cheese. We're going to spread it out so that it's nice and even like this. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then we're going to cook it in the oven for about 20 minutes, okay? Go ahead and take your spoon 
look how creamy and delicious that Alfredo is. I have some garlic breadsticks on the side. Y'all better make this and stop playing with Chef Rambo. Homemade blackened chicken Alfredo.